Are you cracked enough by the number one player in BTD6, Supreme Avocado? I still don't think I've beaten any of his challenge he's given me over the years, and I don't see this one being any different, but let's give it a try. Bloom speed 110, ceramic health 90, and only uh, the worst hero ever, Churchill, on round 76. So does it just have to be like correctly placed spike storm? And I learned that those are pretty cool. So maybe like back there, and then we'll just put this guy like here and upgrade. That should work, right? Maybe, okay. Is he even gonna regen in time? Oh my gosh, no. He doesn't even regenerate in time. What is he doing to me? Okay, spiked mines with Churchill in the back right here. So then when we use his little ability, no. I mean, that seemed pretty close. At least they like weren't ceramics anymore. Oh, but that's my fault. I don't think I even use his ability. So we'll go like this. Oh, you can't use his ability. That's why. Look at this. You can't see because my big head's in the way. Let me move it real quick. So we're just going to wait this thing out and then we're just going to zap it, I think. Because then like everything will be done maybe. No. <laughs> the spike could be there to mess with me. So let's see what we can do with this and then maybe remove that. Let's just see what he can do on his own with all this. So they do regrow, right? Yeah, of course. Is his thing even strong enough to do anything? So I just want Churchill to attack for a little bit and then we'll spike storm the rest. Oh, but we can't spike storm. We already went through this. Oh my God. But can we though? So I'm thinking, can we stall with Churchill just enough? Like, can he stall at all in order to give this guy some time to regenerate? Probably not, right? Oh man. Okay, we're gonna have Churchill just hold these guys back a little bit. So just enough to where we can get the other one. So there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, so close. Here we go. We should be able to hit it. Oh my God. So all we need to do is break some balloons here and just make it slower somehow. I don't know how yet. So then this guy can spike storm. I feel like that's close. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so close. Okay, let's see what happens when we just throw this guy up there. That's not bad, right? I think Churchill could take all those down and they're on fire now too. Oh wow, they're already almost dead. I think Churchill can do some damage on that. So we'll do that again like that. And then we'll take Churchill down here, I think, right? Just so they can like degenerate on their own. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. Come on, Churchill, you big guy, you can do this. Dude, that's pretty close. It's way closer than our trying to stall it with magic. What if we put him here instead? Cause then they won't regen as fast, maybe? I'm really digging this path though, like top path with that one. I think that's pretty cool. Try this again. Cause now there's more for them to hit too, huh? But now that just those ones hit it and that's the problem. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Cause now we have all these ceramics left and just eh, kind of ugly. What happens if we put them at the end though? So like all the way down here on close, no, remove that. And then we'll put this guy here so he can attack as soon as they come out the side. So like that, but I think we're gonna have the same issue, right? It's gonna just be a bunch of ceramics and we don't want that. So hit that ability pretty close, but I think this way was the best by shoving it up here because then we just really didn't have anything left. So what if we get big guy right at the beginning? So like right here with him and then go like that, because in that time there's gonna be some ceramics somehow. Okay, I don't make any sense. Let's try that again. Okay, look at those are little balloons now. Look at that, easy. I mean, we're not gonna beat them. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're so close with that, so close. So hear me out, since we don't have time for our thing to regenerate anyway, why don't we get rid of this, put this guy here and then he can just attack the entire sweet time that he wants to, just like that. Okay, come on, come on, big guy, you got this. Keep on fire, keep on fire. He's very slow, isn't he? Not the very fastest tower, that's for sure. That was pretty good. What happens with these ones in the first five though? Oh, dude, that does nothing. So this is definitely something. And it's kind of random like which ones he hits, you know? Okay, Churchill. So like that, and then like this, there we go. Now get most of them, cool, all of them pretty much. And then we're gonna have our ability too. So we can just do this. Okay, not that time. That time we didn't have our ability because it was too fast. <laughs> okay. What happens if we do them just all at the end by themselves? Does that do anything? And like Churchill to take some of them down? Oh my gosh, that's the answer the whole time. Okay, so all we have to do here is put this one here and then we need Churchill to have his thing leveled up in time and then we'll just blast away as much as we can and then this guy will pop open the rest. That's totally it, for sure. So we just break him open, break him open, break him open, less damage. So he does more damage to them being ceramic? Like, I feel like that makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Okay, now we can't attack till they're right in our faces, but if we leave it on last, what happens there? And then all these guys are right here, easy stuff. And then we'll just hit that first ability. Okay, cool, cool. Dude, that was so close. So we need to see just what it'll do on its own and kind of go from there. So on its own, 100%, it still has a lot left. So we need Churchill to take down that ceramic layer. I mean, it's that simple. So attack here and then we'll f use this cool ability. Look at that. Oh no. Okay, thought process here is kind of like what we did earlier up there. As they swipe by them, they'll take different ones out and then we can just use our ability. That was better. So use our ability here. That was terrible. Okay, so I just want to take them down a little bit 
I don't want them to regen though, but then he's, they are going to regen even worse than before. So if we could just have him take them down here, and then what if we have these here? So he's just going to take them down a little bit. Nothing crazy. So we'll put them on last too, so we can only attack. Okay, now they barely opened up. Okay, we sold a lot of rainbows there. So we just need to pull him back a little bit. So like right there. And the goal here is that he just opens them up a bit, but without hitting that last rainbow one. So there we go. Look at that. Take some damage down. Okay, he's attacking too much. That's the problem. There we go. We're done. done. Stop attacking. He just really wants to attack afterwards. and We don't want him to. We just want him right here. There we go. So we have just enough to like not do much. So right there, right there, right there. Okay, he's done now. He's done. That's all you can do, buddy. There we go. That should be it. Oh my God, so close. Come on, come on, tough guy. So this time we do what we just did, but he is gonna be able to attack right there. Okay, and then we'll ability there. That has to be it. 100% has to be it. And we'll put him on last again, put him back on first, then we hit that ability. That was worse than before. Okay, here we go. Hit those ones, hit that ability. Is that it? What is even left? What if natural Churchill isn't strong enough? We just leave him on level one. What if he's not really strong enough? He can just keep them at a really good pace. See? I mean, they're going to regen on that one, but we can just put them on last there. So no upgrading at all. Keep them on last. Keep them on last. He seems to be pretty strong, like just the same there, huh? Okay, just one level this time. One level. Leave them on last. Put him back on first. So he stops wrecking everything. And there you go. That's it. Nope. Still had three. Oh, Jesus. Okay, same concept, but different spike. Maybe I just overthought that spike and I should have, oh, should have got faster anyway. But there we go. Put this guy back on first so he doesn't keep attacking those back ones. Could we have gone this? Oh my God, guys. Why do you let me play this game? Could have done that from the beginning. I finally beat a Supreme Avocado Challenge though. Well, should we just get a super big head and try another Supreme Challenge? This might be like a 50 minute video. 25 with 5,000 cash. Super fast, balloon speed, regrow rate, and all regrow. Let's just check to see what it is real quick. Oh my god, dude. So it's probably going to be some wacky thing where you have to place this guy just right at the right time and he'll throw his boomerang like perfectly. I know how he operates. So let's just try just something random like this. See, he's going to expect you to just like know, you know? But I think that takes out one shot. No, it doesn't. So it does with two shots though. So you got to have to like super hit it. It's also the maelstrom, but it's not going to be fast enough, right? No way. How about super speed tax? That pops it in one shot, but what's going to come after this? There's going to be like some crazy thing. There's no way he lets this be a challenge. Can you sell? And you cannot sell. Yeah, there we go. Saw something coming. What about something like the angle like this? Because then we do get, do we get two shots to hit him or just one? Because I think those have to come back up and then do they come out the same way? If that's the case, we might get like two chances. No. I like truly believe it's going to be something wacky where you just have to know where to place this guy. And he sat there and figure out a perfect spot to whack all these things. And what's crazy too is there's so many options. You can go left hand, right hand, first, last, strong, whatever you wanna try. That's just too much guys, but we can, ah, oh, let's just give it a couple more tries here. But then again, he hates the boomer. He doesn't even have the boomer fully unlocked. So I don't know if that could be it. And this guy did do some damage. We just gotta find a better spot for him. Maybe like right there to where he hits both. Let's try something like that. No. What about extra range? Cause then we get to attack twice, right? That could work. Cause then we might have enough time to hit the purples. I, I just don't see it being that easy, but I mean, let's see. Oh no, it's even worse. Dude, Maelstrom, it's Maelstrom. So what we have to do is find a way to pop these like, okay, so we'll find a way to pop them like that. And if we can just pop them regularly, oh, we can't pop those. We just got to find a better spot to put this guy. And then we're just going to maelstrom to the moon when those purples come out. That's the only way I can think of. Try this spot. Oh my gosh, it gets them down. So it gets some of them, but not all of them. So I think this is somewhat viable. We just got to find a better spot for it. Cause like you saw there, some of them did get popped. Not that one, but that one did. Maybe we'll put it back a bit more. Why does it pop the second one, but not the first one? We got to figure out why it's doing that. Oh my gosh, that felt like it. Okay, okay. Oh no, but it popped the first one. Look at, oh, not now it won't. The boomer is popping all of them. All the yellows are being popped by the boomer, but can he pop the purple? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here we go guys. Can he pop the purple? And he cannot even get close to popping the purple. What if I switch hands? No, it does absolutely nothing. What are you thinking? Man? What I'm having a hard time understanding is why it pops. There's really no reason it should pop the second and not the first. Like, what is the difference? I don't see there being any. Since we know this pops all of them for the most part, or at least pop that first one. What if we get this right here? Maybe this will pop all the purples. I doubt it, but it does have extra range right there. This could have been the answer the whole time, couldn't it have been? Let's see. Here comes the purples. 
Nope, not even close. That's what I'm saying. So I'm trying the ranged one now because maybe the extra little bit of space there can like kind of soup them up. Didn't think so. So I've come to the conclusion that it cannot be Maelstrom because there's just not enough time. And I was sitting there watching. I'm like, even if I could get Maelstrom up, there's no way. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. And we just have to find a good spot which is still stressful because I think we're going to have to go long range tech because I mean, look how much money is left. There's only 185 left. I'm not sure why that number. I mean, that's a dead spot and all of them look really promising because they just shred through the yellows. But then as soon as you get to the purple, you're like, oh no, here we go. Yeah, and they don't do anything. So if we try a faster one, no, look how much those go through. Because my hopes is here that like when that purple comes around, maybe we get a second chance at it, do we? Because it like goes around and then comes back up here, right? So we technically get two shots on it, but it regens in time. So it's not the case, but let's see what happens here. Yeah, we just can't do it. Look at this. We're weak. This is very weird, but it's working. I doubt it's going to take out the purples. Nope. Yeah, purples just suck. I'm just trying this top pass. I think the top pass is where it's at. So that's pretty good, but yeah, there's not a chance though, huh? It's just we look like we're doing so good and these purples come. We're just like, nah, just kidding. Oh, they're actually popping some. Popping some. I've been recording for over an hour and haven't popped a purple. So I feel like that's progress. Uh, let's just keep trying different iterations of that one. But see, that's not going to pop it. It's where we were at before. Let's try down here instead. See, that one looks pretty good. Not going to lie. But it's not. Okay, let's try this side then. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, we got to try the other spot again because I know with balloons that sometimes things just don't work for whatever reason the next time they do. So I could have been a little unlucky maybe. Here we go with those purples. We did pop some though. Look how close we were getting with those pops. That's just madness. Okay, now we're on the left side instead of the right side. Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh my gosh, that was so much closer. Okay, so we're pixely placing it like right there. What if we just like drop it back a little bit or all the way to the left maybe? So I just backed off a little bit. I'm not sure what that'll do, but maybe it'll do something because you know how this game goes. Worse. Okay, okay, this has to be it. Not even close. Try number 743. So after many countless hours and sleepless nights, I had to use my phone a friend and I hit up Supreme and I said, dude, what are you doing to me? This is the worst challenge ever. I have no clue. I'm hours in. And he showed me this little spot that if you wiggle your mouse just enough right, you'll see little white glimpses. And then after a few more hours of that, you will finally place it in this unbelievable spot that's like technically on the track, but hence the name of the challenge over the edge. And then after all that madness, you come to find out, he says, that's not the right spot. That's just a similar spot with the same kind of concept. <laughs> so in the end, this is not going to work either. We still have to find that spot, but somewhere else that's better. Now, I don't like to go home a loser, but I'm technically already home and I'm going to lose my mind on this thing. So you guys let me know below if you can find the spot because I'm just going to have to tap out. And if you haven't yet, check out this video here that includes a challenge that I bet you cannot beat in Bloons 2D6.